Multi-Swath Plus is used to generate unique swaths as required from one pass to the next. This system will generate each pass based on the previous driven path of the vehicle regardless whether it was auto-steered or manually controlled by the operator. You also have the ability to record these lines regardless of whether you are applying coverage or not. Patterns or guidance lines will be grouped together and referred to as a set. You can create different sets of guidance lines for the same field. You also have the ability to create a set of guidance lines via the desktop software and import into the display for the vehicle to follow. An operator may use Multiswath Plus for the following. To record swath lines around impassable objects such as waterway, trees lines, utility poles and terraces. To record swaths in irregular shaped fields. To create swaths at harvest time as part of the fields are cut out and tend not to follow particular AV lines. Following guidance lines from as applied application maps or guidance lines created in desktop software using drone technology to create guidance lines in established vineyards or orchards. When multi-swath is selected, each pass through the field is recorded and can be used to generate the next path. Once multi-swath is started recording the process, an operator has the configurable options to automatically determine when the new swath begins. Multi-swath plus generates a new swath pattern automatically based on the vehicle's previous driven path. However, it requires a way to determine when the driven pass has ended and the next swath begins. There are several different ways for this system to be configured automatically or manually detect the changeover point. To use Multiswath Plus, you will need to place the following user-defined windows on the run screen. Swath Recorder 1, Swath Manager and Drive Only. It is also important to note that Multiswath Plus is only selectable in the Swath Recorder 1 window and not Swath Recorder 2. The operator must manually select a completion mode of the display. This can be done in two ways. First, in the Nav S tab under Toolbox. The second is by using the Swath Manager user-defined window on the run screen. You are only able to select this option when multi-swath lines are selected. There are five options to choose when setting the auto-completion of a swath. 135 degree turn will mean that the vehicle has to detect a change of 135 degrees or more in the heading in one continuous turn to stop recording the curve and switch to the next swath. This is what will be used as a default if the operator does not make a selection. 90 degree turn means that the vehicle has to detect 90 degrees or more change in heading in a continuous turn before the next swath begins. Manual requires the operator to press the start and stop button. Work control plus 135 degree turn is referring to the vehicle has to detect either 135 degrees change in heading or a change in the work control status. Work control only will only look for changes in the work control status using the coverage to turn on and off the recording process. At any time during the field operation, the operator can choose to change the setting to better suit their field conditions. The configurable settings will be used until the change is made again. As a guide, there is a table of recommendation modes based on the field driving patterns commonly used. This can be found in the software operating guide for your auto guidance system. To create a multi-swath set of lines, first in the Swath Recorder 1, select Multi and New, then press Start. For illustration purposes, we will use the map view to highlight how this pattern works. Continue to drive the path as desired. You can record a straight segment by using the heading in the temporary swath window. Pressing the heading will project a line based on the current vehicle heading. You can now press engage to auto guide down this line. Here is an example of an operator having to drive around an obstacle. Multi swath is recording this as he travels off the guidance line around the obstacle. You can also use the pause button to stop recording. This will snap a straight line between where the unit is paused 
and unpaused. Continue to drive your desired path using the heading button when necessary to keep things straight. My multi-swath trigger point is currently set to 135 degrees. This means when the heading will change at 135 degrees or more during one turn, the system will automatically switch across to the next swath. On the next pass, the operator might choose to disengage auto steer and straighten up the rows where he has driven around obstacles. Continue your operation, turning at the end of swaths where necessary. When we come back around on our third pass, you will see where we straightened up originally is now generated as an auto guidance line without the curve. This will be the case for both the second and the third pass, whereas the original line will maintain the curve to avoid the obstacle for future reference. When using multi-swath, remark and swath skipping features are not available. Nudge and trim are available, only when operating in drive-only mode. Multi-swath plus sets of lines can only be reused when using the same implement width, or an implement width of the same multiple of the original that was used to create the swath set. If an incompatible implement width is used, a new multi-swath plus set of lines must be recorded for that implement. For best results when recording multi-swath plus sets of lines, High accuracy GNSS is recommended for best repeatability. Another feature within MultiSwath Plus is the MultiSwath Plus simultaneous line recording. This allows the system to record subsequent lines either side of the actual path driven. This can be useful where applications may be planted with a multi-row planter but harvested with a single row harvester, such as sugarcane or carrots. There are two modes of operation for MultiSwath Plus, the identical mode and drive only mode. Identical mode will take one of the guidance lines from the swath set and replicate it across the field. Drive only mode will be using the swath set to follow those as applied lines but not record any subsequent lines.